Creating mind maps can be daunting. I mean, it could be absolutely horrible. I've done for university. I've also used it for work as well. And probably you have done the same. But what if I told you you could save massive loads of time using AI assisted prompts? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly what to use and how to use it to go ahead and get started in saving plenty of time and the headache from it. Now we're talking about Wondershare's eDraw Mind, and it takes just a few seconds to go ahead and create that mind map. Now you can click in the link in the description and follow along with me. It's very fast. It's very easy. They even offer a free trial. So go ahead and click on that if you would like to follow with me and let's go ahead and get started and going over some of the features. Now I've signed in using Google Chrome just because it's a little bit faster to do. Now downloading it is actually very fast as well, depending on your internet speed, of course. But what you're looking at is our dashboard. Now you're going to see all kinds of cool templates, over 15,000 different templates. And that's really cool because if you're not really sure uh, about the AI assisted prompts or whatnot, well, you can just kind of go ahead and click here, but it just takes too much time. So we're going to do the eDraw uh, AI. Now you can see the AI or the AI eDraw right here and the project management. And you can see the basic flow charts, the roadmaps, and the mind map. Now we're doing the mind map. So we're going to click on this as well. So we'll go to eDraw AI and we're going to go into the AI mind map. Now you can go ahead and change the templates and everything and how it looks right off the bat. And you can even use the images that will Wondershare eDraw Mind has, eDraw Max. Uh, now you can see we have Pixabay. You can even search for like technology, the backgrounds as well. You can just like search these uh, by clicking here and you can make that a little bit more appealing and more beautiful as well. All right, now you can see here to the right hand side that you can see eDraw AI. And you can see they entered mind mapping drawing mode. Now, this is where it's going to save you the time yet, right? So we're going to say create a mind map for a, let's just say you're teaching English, right? So an English learning course. And then we'll just simply hit enter and it's going to start making its magic. Now, um, you're going to see, do you need a to draw a mind map? Of course, that's what we're doing. I'm going to click yes. And of course, the better prompts that you get or give it, the better it's going to be and more information you give it, it's going to provide more information. But just for the sake of ooh, what we're doing, we're going to take a look with this one. Now, I'm going to zoom out and you can see that's our prompt that we used. And I'm just going to scroll over. And there we go. Now, what's really cool is you can see that it gave us a lot of stuff that we probably would have missed without. And maybe we want to add more, right? So uh, you can see here, for example, since it's English learning, we have verbs, adjectives, right? Parts of speech, sentence structures, right? And here you can see it's kind of blank and empty as well. Now you can go to, you can add a topic, you can add a subtopic, even the relationship between the two. So this is where it's really cool as well. And you can even change the background colors of these uh, if you want, just by the little color bar down at the bottom. Uh, but let's just say we want to make it a little bit more in depth, right? So uh, I know that English learning for foreign students of the English language, uh, we would want to kind of highlight a little bit more, right? So let's just say parts of speech. I'm going to click on this. Now you can see eDraw Mind, or I'm sorry, eDraw AI. And we're going to click on that, but let's just say we want to expand that. We want more. So we're going to say continue to expand, expand the mind map. And now it's working on the request. Now you can already see this already saved us huge amounts of time. Now, if you're just looking for something kind of basic, uh, this is it. But I do recommend to go in and add photos and really kind of make it in depth uh, for you later on, if that's what you're wanting to make it as a presentation. Now, now we have it. The parts of speech has been expanded. Let me just scroll over and I am going to zoom out just a little bit and go up. Now, it has expanded quite a lot, right? So now we have now verbs. And even here, we can go back to eDraw AI and we can continue to expand the mind map once again for verbs and so forth and so on. And we're giving, there we go. Now we have more information as far as past tense, right? Past participles. We have uh, all of these as well. Now, uh, let's just say present tense as well. Let's say we want to polish that. We can even polish the text and it's going to work on that request. And sure, please provide the passage you like me to express in the present tense. Uh, or yeah. 
and then you would just add that. So this is what you would add right here. So uh, we would just write that in the chat box right here with the eShaw AI, and it's that simple. Now, regular verbs, we can go in and just like, make it different colors. Irregular verbs, we can do red. You can see how now we can use this to kind of help us make a key to make it better with the brain, right? So that simple, that easy, already saved you lots of time. And can you imagine to go through and type all of this in? Now, that's what's cool about the templates. Maybe they already have a template for that, um, but you can personalize it better. Now we have our mind map, just a few moments. Now the video so far is around five minutes. Five minutes you created a mind map, but what if you want to create it into a PowerPoint presentation? Now that's really helpful, especially for English learning. So what we'll do is we'll go up to file, we'll go to export to PDF, if you would like that as well, uh, or we can actually go through and export other formats, the PowerPoint presentation. You can also use Word, Excel, Avisio, PS, and EPS as well. Now we were talking about adding photos and stuff as well. Don't be in despair. It has image text extraction. So if you have a photo, for example, you can in, with the letters inside of it, maybe you have some other material. Let's again, talk about English. Now you can actually take that text from that photo and use it as well. So it'll extract that for you, right? So you can use that as well. And when you click on AI drawing to create those photos that you would like, you can do 2D or 3D as well. This is a text to an image. So the prompt you create, you can create custom photos and images for you as well. And you can even do an image to image, which is very, very interesting because here you can upload an image of this object and AI will actually use that image as a reference to create a new image. So maybe there's something you just can't find. So you can be able to do that as well. So like I said, go ahead into the description, try it now. I promise you, you're going to love it and go ahead and start making things a lot easier with creating your mind map.